Hi everyone, my name is Natasha and today I'm gonna show you how to make a vegan version of pate. This is mushroom pate, it's delicious, it's full of flavor and it's perfect as a snack or appetizer. So let's get started! The ingredients for mushroom pate are quite simple. We will need 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms. I prefer chestnut mushrooms, but you can use any mushrooms. In fact, 100 grams of walnuts, a bunch of uh, fresh parsley, a big onion, four cloves of garlic, uh, salt and pepper to taste, and a bit of olive oil to fry. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. I'm posting every Tuesday and every Friday interesting, healthy, and quick recipes. And if you have any questions, what is your preferences for this pate, leave them in the comments below. I would love to answer them. So uh, before starting frying our ingredients, uh, I'm actually going to prepare them. So I'm going to um, slice the uh, mushrooms, um, uh, chop the onion, and as well uh, chop the um, parsley here and dice the garlic as well. So let's get started. First step in our mushroom pate, we will uh, roast the um, walnuts. You can roast them in the oven or you can uh, do it in a frying pan. Uh, on a frying pan it's faster, but you have to be careful not to burn it. So to roast them in the pan, it will take about uh, two to three minutes. Make sure to continuously uh, mix them and stir them, otherwise they're going to burn. So on a medium to low heat, about two minutes until they are starting to smell nice, this roasty uh, flavor and smell as well. So the um, walnuts are ready. I'm just going to transfer them into a bowl and set aside for later. Now in the same pan, I'm not removing anything from here. I'll add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And right here, I'll add the onion and the garlic and I'll fry until caramelized about four to five minutes. Don't worry about the um, size of the onions or the garlic. Um, what we need, we need the flavor here. And uh, later on in the blender, everything is going to combine together. So in, mix it well and fry for about three to four minutes. When the onions and the garlic start to soften and they start to caramelize as well, we will add all the mushrooms in. Don't be scared that there's too many mushrooms. They are going to um, release all the water and it's going to be less. So add all the mushrooms. Mix it well together and fry on a medium heat until they'll release the water and uh, brown in color as well. So this will take about um, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the heat that you are having on your stove. So after 15 minutes, add salt, pepper, roughly chopped parsley, and the roasted walnuts. Give it a good mix. Fry it for a minute or so and let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. So for this recipe, you'll need a blender or a food processor. If you have a blender, make sure that it's more or less powerful uh, because you need to make this fine paste. And transfer the mushrooms into the blender or food processor. Make sure that you're cooling the mixture before putting it in. Don't put it straight from the heat because it's too hot. So secure the blender with the lid and blend it uh, from the beginning on a small speed, on a low speed, and after that increase the speed gradually. You were looking for a very like creamy paste. So after blending the mixture, it's transformed into a creamy paste that it tastes delicious. You can adjust the flavors as well. Add more salt or more pepper. Yeah, as I said, with the food processor it's easier. Or if you have a blender, 
It's like if it's powerful, you need quite a lot of mixture inside in order to make it like very fast and very creamy. Okay, so transfer everything from the blender into a um, bowl. So this was my recipe of vegan mushroom pate. This is delicious. It has the richness from the um, all nuts and as well the taste from the mushrooms. It's amazing. It's way better than the store-bought one. Uh, it's worth trying it and it's easy to make as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and see you in the next video.